Here's how companies are planning to have humanoid robots working alongside you. Imagine a robot that can walk and talk just like you do with your regular human coworker. That's the promise of humanoid robots, and companies like Tesla, Mercedes-Benz, and even BMW are jumping on board. These robots aren't just clunky industrial arms anymore, they're designed to be adaptable and versatile. So meet the stars of the show, different types of humanoid robots. There are a bunch of different humanoid robots in development, each with its own special skills. One such robot, owned by Figure AI, is the Figure 01. This robot claims to be the world's first commercially viable general purpose humanoid. That means it can tackle a variety of tasks from working in factories to helping out in warehouses. Plus, it can even explain what it's doing, which is a big step for human robot communication. Then there's the Tesla Optimus Gen 2. If you're a fan of Elon Musk, you've probably heard of this one before. The Optimus Gen 2 is built for speed and can now handle heavier objects than its predecessor, the Tesla bot. And then there's Apollo. This is the robot that landed a sweet gig at Mercedes-Benz. It's designed for those tough, repetitive tasks on the factory floor, freeing up human workers for other things. So, are humanoid robots going to steal our jobs? This is a big question, and there's honestly no easy answer. Humanoid robots could definitely automate some jobs, especially those that are dangerous or physically demanding, but they're also likely to create new opportunities. Imagine robots handling the heavy lifting, while humans focus on more creative or technical tasks. As technology continues to advance, the rise of humanoid robots in the workforce is becoming more and more prevalent. While some fear that these robots will steal jobs from humans, the reality is that they could actually create new opportunities and make certain tasks safer and more efficient. One of the biggest advantages of using humanoid robots is their ability to automate dangerous or physically demanding jobs. For example, Robots could be used to handle heavy machinery in construction sites or reduce the, si the risk of injury for human workers. Similarly, robots could be used to perform tasks in hazardous environments, such as nuclear power plants or oil rigs, where human workers are at risk of exposure to radiation or toxic substances. However, the benefits of humanoid robots go beyond just safety. By taking on tasks that are repetitive or mundane, robots can free up human workers to focus on more creative or technical tasks. This can lead to more productivity and innovation as humans are able to use their unique skills and abilities to solve complex problems and come up with new ideas. The development and implementation of humanoid robots could create entirely new industries for job opportunities. As companies invest in developing and improving this technology, there will be a need for engineers, designers, and technicians to build and maintain the robots. Additionally, as robots become more integrated into various industries, there will be a need for workers to oversee and manage those operations. Overall though, while the rise of humanoid robots may change the way we work, it is important to remember that they are not a threat to our jobs, but rather a tool that can help us work more efficiently and effectively. As we continue to explore the possibilities of this technology, it is up to us to embrace the changes that come with it and find ways to use it to our advantage. So what about the jobs of the future? Buckle up for your robot coworkers. The way we work is totally gonna change and these superhuman robots are a big reason why. But hey, don't panic, these brainy bots aren't here to take over your job, at least not entirely. Imagine instead a partner on the job, a strong and tireless teammate that can handle the tough stuff. So here's a glimpse of how these robots might play out in different industries. Picture this, a powerful robot like the Tesla Optimus Gen 2 on the assembly line, lifting heavy parts with ease and while a human worker focuses on delicate assembly tasks. These robots could work tirelessly on night shifts or handle dangerous welding jobs. There again, keeping people safe. Another scenario, many jobs put people at risk. Think firefighters battling infernos or 
hazmat crews cleaning up toxic spills. Humanoid robots equipped with heat resistant materials and sensors could be the first responders in these situations. They could also enter dangerous zones, gather data, and even help with resources. Another scenario, imagine a humanoid robot assisting nurses, lifting patients, or even performing simple medical tasks under a doctor's supervision. These robots could be a huge help in understaffed hospitals, freeing up nurses for more critical tasks and allowing for better patient care. Another scenario, humanoid robots could be designed to withstand the crushing pressure of the deep sea. They can explore shipwrecks, gather valuable scientific data, or even help maintain underwater infrastructure, all without putting human divers at risk. These are just a few examples, and the possibilities, of course, are endless. The key is to figure out how these robots can complement our work skills, taking on repetitive, dangerous, or physically demanding tasks. This will free us humans up to focus on the creative, strategic, and more social aspects of work. It's all about building a future where humans and robots can work together as a team. At least that's the way these companies are positioning this here. but. What do you think about humanoid robots? Would you welcome a robot coworker? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like and subscribe for more AI tech adventures. Thanks for watching.